We're here. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day, especially because we're gonna be in Disney World the next like week and a half. Yeah, and it's Teddy's very first trip. And mom and dad had a good time holding their anxiety and getting through security with this big bugaboo. Yes, we did it. We did it. It had to like partially come apart. This giant bag here is gonna put all of it in there so it can gate check. But wow. we did it. We made it. Doing good. I actually ran into the Sicards on the way to look for food. So I got soy milk for James to toss in a bottle and these cheese. It's a one last minute snack. Got a monster. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out the Einstein's bagels line. It was pretty long, but I think it was right when it opened. The sun's coming up. It's funny how these things have like move so quickly in airports because I feel like we just got here, but I'm only 20 minutes away from when. I need to break this whole thing down into the bag because we board in 30 minutes. So I want to give myself good time to disassemble this thing. All right, we're getting Billy Goat Tavern. I didn't realize this was here, but we're doing breakfast sandwiches, which I did not think was a thing. Well, look who I found. Kit Kats on the floor for breakfast. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Where are we going, girlfriend? Going to Delaware. <laughs> this is a family trip right here. Is there a baby underneath that? Nice. They've been flown together since 2010. Wow, let's eat. Hey, buds. You guys friends? Look at Grant's my savior carrying the bugaboo in the bag. <laughs> but we all made it together safe. the game plan to have the two blondie boys hanging out granting me a sandwich and then Sarah and Christina have the babies and Violet over there should be a good flight right <laughs> they're comparing safety features I did have to move because I guess you can't have five souls across so it was me and Christina each had one of the little ones run, and then run, oh, we're getting on run, the fake monorail. Run. James it's your homeland. Teddy look at the palm trees. Oh god. It's your birth, birthright. Um, so yeah I had to move because it was me, Violet, Christina and the little ones. Yeah. And we couldn't be five across, so but it was fine. Everyone did be right. Hold on to the handrail. You got candy. You're a good kid, and you were a good kid. Hey. Welcome to Orlando, Teddy. Yeah. We are waiting for our mirrors connect, and it makes me sad about Magical Express. Are you sad too? I left my sunglasses in Chicago. Wait, I think I did too. We are tired, but I have to work still. <laughs> oh, we're so excited to be here. Yeah. This seems just like Magical Express, but you pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like a Magical Express, the buses just keep coming and coming, so. Yeah. What time is it even? I have no idea. Uh, 10.50. If you were wondering if Mears Connect is literally just Magical Express, look at that red sweaty yes. Sarah. Yes. Um, yeah, I actually do want to stick. Look at easy. It literally is Magical Express. It is a Magical Express just with a different wrap. Right as we sat down and start getting our mobile order ready and 
the most lovely place to eat in one of all my favorite resorts. Um, our room's ready, so it's going to work out. We're going to grab something to eat, and then I can go join the the room to join my work call. Oh, that's not the best way to start a Disney World vacation. Are you in Disney? It's going to be worth it. Did you get resort mugs? Hey, vacation life. James, he's showing some signs of being sleepy. So I put him in here just in case he falls asleep soon. He has got some mac and cheese. We have some fries in the meantime. We're also right by this TV that has resort TV playing on it. And I got a pop pimento burger. It's got pimento cheese on it. Here is our room. Look at this. There's like a, a, a queen that pulls down or a fold that pulls down here. Queen. Got must do Disney on. Um, I didn't realize, like I forgot that they updated these rooms and I don't know when they did. Look at this, it's a cool snazzy bathroom. Pretty modern, pretty different. Wish there was a tub for James. Um, he's gonna hate taking a shower, but we'll figure that out. Ah, uh, really good room. Really, really good room. Got our resort mugs. I had to run into the room because it was ready and I had a, a phone call to take. So I have to get set up kind of like with my little workstation. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking this a lot. And we are really close to the main pool. We're really close to the Skyliner, which is amazing because that's gonna be our bread and butter going around and jumping around at different parks and whatnot. Um, but now I have to get ready and finish off the rest of my work day. So, I actually think Sarah's gonna be here maybe shortly with my lunch because I had to, uh, we ordered it, but it wasn't ready by the time I had to leave. So, I gotta, I gotta work, I gotta go. There we go, we're in Disney World, I'm so happy. Okay, we are getting settled in. I kind of just like frogging my throat. I don't feel sick, but my voice is just kind of going. But anywho, James was super wound up. None of us slept great last night. The big kids know there's a pool here, and so they asked, and they're at the pool with Grant. Um, the little Lees are just calming down, and I'm gonna stroll with James, because even trying to like lay with him in our room, like, he was just, he's just so excited, which is so great. And that's why we're here. Um, we just kind of need to take a deep breath, refocus, <laughs> and then uh, we are gonna like unpack and like kind of just let Peter's work day wind down. Um, and then plan what we're gonna do tonight. We went in AC first, fill up resort mugs. This is one of the designs. I'll show the other when we get back to the room. We did get two of these because we're here for a decent amount of time. It's been a long time since we stayed here, like 11 years. And we'll tell you a fun fact about that later. But we're gonna stick to the shade for this walk because it is toasty. So I'll probably just do laps around the buildings. Look at Baloo, their song is on. Um, yeah, we swapped because I don't know if Sarah said in the last clip, but James poured milk all over himself. And then as Sarah got him upstairs in the elevator to our room, he had fallen asleep. But then of course he woke up when we changed him and cleaned him. Guess what Grant and I are gonna do this week? Oh yeah. No better way to go through a week of, of conditioning when it comes to getting back on training than in the uh, Florida heat. It's actually, it is very hot, but it doesn't feel bad. Piston Peak over there. Ah, have been art of animation in a while. The urge to just hop on the Skyliner and go to Crescent Lake. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? And I do have a, I do have a couple more meetings today. Ah, check this out. Didn't even get like two buildings away. No way. So James is still sleeping, and I ended up at Art Animation, which is great because I actually found um, a half gallon of milk for James and if either of Christian and Grant's kids. On it. Um, they're playing Finding Nemo the Musical, and it got me so jazzed because we're gonna get to see the new version this week um, when we go to Animal hey, Kingdom. Sure. Can't wait. Uh, I'm getting ready for a, a preliminary, like a pre pre interview. I'm gonna be on a panel for an, a virtual um, panel for ACS towards the end of July. I'm just walking around with James because he's asleep. I'm gonna do that little FaceTime. I think the plan is Springs tonight. I just am literally, my like aura 
is like merging with the environment around me right now. It's just like, I could just stand next to this light for the next week. That'd be a-okay. Yes, I did buy these very plain, bland sunglasses because I left mine, all of my gooders. I've got like nine pairs right now, um, all at home. And I cannot survive this week in Florida without sunglasses, polarized sunglasses. So it limited my options at the Disney gift shop. But these will do, right? I don't know if the camera is capturing the beauty of this, but it's beautiful. Also, looking like rain's coming in. Peter is on a call with ACS. So we're gonna spend some time at the arcade before we go to Disney Springs. All right, just got off the phone with Megan. A really good conversation. It's gonna be a really good panel. I'm wondering, I'll find out if we can share it like out to the world, either during it or maybe after, like a recorded session. Um, I'm really excited. Chris Powell, who is one of the staffers who you've been, who you've seen in the vlog, he's, been, he's come down and helps him with some Run Disney weekends. He's gonna be a panelist and there's two other panelists and it's gonna be really good. We all have a good similarities and we also have our good like diversity in our backgrounds and our stories of what has brought us to ACS, why we fundraise, how we fundraise. And so it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be really good. Um, but can't wait, that's July 19th. I just gotta figure out if we can share it or not, if, it, or if it's just for our endurance team. That's what it looks like when you struggle to take a nap and then you end up taking like a two and a half hour nap in a stroller. On them up, relaxing and everything. Look at these twins. We just made it. To Disney Springs, oh it's all Americana. Wow. If you are wondering, everyone's pretty toast. I'm not. I feel great. I feel way better now. After I they're all I've also sleeping. had all seven beverages of our resort refill the month. Yeah, that's the best. Um, I avoided a migraine, which is great news. And uh, when you're on vacation mode, you have to start at Disney Springs. I mean, that's like an asterisk because whenever we come here, if we don't go straight to a park, like Epcot is obviously where we go on our first day. But if you're not going to a park on our first day, you gotta start at Springs. What are you doing back here? Oh my gosh, look at this. What, Americana? They are ready for the holiday. Grant Cohurst, Jamesy back, knowing the food's here. Jamesy. Look at this glorious thing. Me and Christina are gonna go split these. And I'm also gonna have full ice cream. Uh oh. For the first time ever. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Woo! Oh. Look at a beautiful, beautiful. Actually, this is Lake Buena Vista. Actual Lake Buena Vista. Like the lake is Lake Buena Vista. Um, Disney Springs. Can't wait till nightfall and it gets lit up. I had to walk away and get James locked in the stroller because he was very upset. That was his first true, like, splash plat play. But now it's funny, now he's deciding to eat his pizza bread. No problem though. Alright, we're gonna take a break so the babies can have a little snack. But we can't come to Disney Springs without checking out our good friends at Savannah Bee Company to see if they've got any B bad drinks in stock. And Savannah Bee Company did not fail. A cold six pack of B bads. <laughs> Is it the best grilled cheese you ever had? So good. Singing the same song. 
thing to say Teddy is pooped. He was lulled to sleep on Brian Alvarez, as he should be. Yes. Wasn't that awesome? Of all people playing. We heard playing. his voice from so far away, and we were like, wait. Yeah. Is that him? But then a violinist was playing with him. We've never seen with the violinist, so we were like, it's not him. And he was back close, we like, it is him. Awesome. Okay, back to the hotel to swim. Whoa! Vacation magic pulled up right as we were strolling up. All right, back at the resort. We're gonna go swimming. We got bathing suit time. We're gonna get. We got our resort mugs. We're gonna get those filled up. Grab some towels and go to for a late night dip. Look at these two. They have Tarzan on from the movie Under the Stars. And me and Christina are gonna switch out with the boys so that we can swim too. All right, so it's after midnight. I'm walking James around because he's struggling to go to sleep tonight. And if I'm gonna do this anywhere, like this is the place to be. Walt Disney World, walking my baby to sleep because he's fighting going down. But do you see those lights? Fantasmic. Studios is in that direction. Are we looking at potentially phantasmic testing? Could you imagine the Brookharts being here when phantasmic returns? It's supposed to come back in 2022. They just haven't done a, released a date yet. And I really hope it is while we're here. That would be pretty magical. And if it happens like right after we leave, that would be the opposite of magical. Cool perk of what I'm doing. I just got to walk the whole lobby of Art of Animation, which is just a beautiful and stunning lobby. If you ever get a chance to walk through it, just admiring all of the art. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, he's actually asleep. Um, so I'm gonna take the long, but not super long way back to our room and hopefully like really get him good in his sleep. Coming in the lobby was like one of those tests because of the noise and the air conditioning change to see if he'd wake up, um, like was deep enough in his sleep that once I get into our our room that the AC doesn't like shock him and wake him up. I still need to get him in the room and get him transferred from the stroller to the bed. Fingers crossed. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.